This video is brought to you courtesy of tech buyers. Go to tech buyers to buy yourself computers, laptops, desktop PCs, and also order stuff from Amazon for a given fee. And if you decide to go there, make sure you mention us on how you found them. Check them out in the link in the description below. It's Namluk here guys and welcome back to another video. Now as usual, thank you for watching these videos. I know today's video is a little bit different. But like I told you, I plan on diversifying my channel a bit and since my channel de deals with advice and yeah, I can advise you since I am a tech guy, I'm a tech nerd, so I know, let's just say I know stuff about tech. So today I'm going to be reviewing the JBL Charge 3. So right outside the box you get the JBL Charge 3 itself. Now this if you don't know this is a Bluetooth speaker. A Bluetooth speaker. So it uses Bluetooth that should be obvious. And you get this and you get the charger that has a USB charging cable and you get this for your wall adapter. <laughs> Man most companies should have a, a, a plug I mean a charger head like this one. This is really innovative instead of having to make a struggle finding adapt wall adapters for these things because uh, these things are really rare to find those adapters or oh, it's just another hassle as you can see it also comes with a very premium cable very premium cable now why have I decided to advise you today on a Bluetooth speaker I know that's weird that's because <laughs> The minute I turned this thing on, I was surprised. This thing has some serious, very serious sound. Now, and I thought, hey, since my channel deals with advice, how about I give some people the best? How about I advise some folks who have some money to spend on the best budget, or not the best budget, the best Bluetooth speaker they can invest in? Uh, forgive me for hitting the camera there. <laughs> should stop doing that. Anyway. This thing is an absolute beast, okay? So as you can see, it has the Bluetooth button there, the minus volume button, power. This is JBL connect, I think if it's synced or connect something like that. Volume plus button and the play button. Now, to get this out of the way, in Kenya there's a lot of fake products. Like there's a lot of fake Beats by Dre's, there's a lot of fake JBL's. I'm pretty sure you've seen these things around town, but you need to know that there's a difference. There's a difference. Now, the original one, which is this, really has some serious weight. Okay? And the big give up, the big give up is the Chinese, the fake one, has a misaligned base radiator. This is the base radiator. Now, the paper, the instruction manual does say do not touch the radiator, so I'm not going to touch them. And behind the original one already has some fingerprints. The original one should have a cover like this. Okay, now if you pop open the cover, you should see it's really tough. It's really tough because this thing, by the way, is waterproof and can fully float. And it's rated at IPX7, which I don't know what the hell that is. But as you can see, the original one has an aux in the 3.5 millimeter jack, the mini USB port, and the output port. Now, you, I'm sure you're wondering what this output port is for. This thing also doubles up as a power bank. So much in one small container. Now, you need to know that the fake one has a radio and a memory card reader behind there. Now, I'm going to embed a video that shows the difference between a fake one and the real one. Now the big give up for fake products, for fake Chinese products, is the memory card reader and the FM radio. Normally American companies don't do that or they don't package that in their speakers. And the cable and the charger, the legit JBL charger should look like this. And the cable should be a full USB cable. No, it can not only charge, but it can also transfer data from your computer to your phone. So, let me get all that outside the way. Now, this is my first tech review. I really hope I'm doing okay. <laughs> anyway, as I was saying, this thing is an absolute beast. Now, I'm sure you're wondering how much does this thing cost? 
but uh, surprisingly enough, uh, it's uh, it's not quite expensive. It's actually fifteen thousand. If you find the legit one around town, I don't know, fifteen to eighteen thousand. So as you can see, that is in the mid range category. Not too expensive, not too cheap. So I will call this a medium budget speaker. If you have fifteen k or eighteen k lying around your house, this is the best. Thing that you can invest your money in I mean this is the best Bluetooth speaker you can invest your money in if you're looking to buy one this thing really fills up the space now if, instead of me chatting all day let me first give you a sound test because I know that is one thing you are really you really want to hear because I've been ranting a lot so let me give you the sound test <laughs> so you have heard how much of a beast this thing is it can pump out some serious volume that was not even on its max volume not the impressive very impressive thing about thing is this thing is the charge the battery life this thing can play for a serious amount of time mostly if you're not even playing it at full like full volume i remember yesterday i played it for like four hours and i never got a single led drop like the battery was full <laughs> like it didn't i'm really getting what i'm saying the battery did not fall below and for this charger by the way this charger really charges very quickly so i advise you if you plan on purchasing one of these things just charged with its own charger now, i'm sure you're wondering you may not find these things in town so i already told you about tech buys um the people sponsoring this video you can go order this thing from amazon for a given fee and you can get yourself a jbl now i'm not going to go explaining what the hell these are and i'm just going to, going to explain one last bit uh but this uh this button excuse this button is called, I think the JBL connect. This just allows you, if someone else has a JBL like this, you can connect them and they can sync and sync from one phone, and create that surround feel. Now, again, as I've told you, this thing is indeed a bang for your buck. If you got 18K lying around in your house, please go buy this thing. Okay, so, really hope i've done okay on my first tech like my first hardware tech video since the first one was the microsoft or apple or the linux the one so this is my second so i really hope i've done okay uh you know what to do if this video is a good subscribe and suggest any hardware you would like me to advise you on specifically computers and phones i am good at that thing and i'll see you in the next one. Bang, bang, kings, until you lose control.